Woo, okay. We have sound. The stream is holding up steady. Do we have images? We have images. Very good. Okay, this looks like everything is all set to get started. All right. <clears throat> Hello! Hi and welcome to some more XCOM Long War with me, The Zero. Ah, where did we leave? Oh! My! I remember now! <laughs> that didn't take me long. Land at large! The Revengeance. Okay. Land at large. Where are we? We're in the back again. Which is really annoying. I wish we could start on the other side. Oh my, 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 my. Okay. Is this the exact same map as last time, except we're on the other side? Yeah, last time we started here, I think. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Last time, um, I actually got a, a, a copyright claim. Apparently, this music in the background is someone has a piece of music that sounds like it, and they're like claiming that it's. Well, I don't know. All right, let's turn on our motion tracker. Okay, nothing so far. Let's bring the T101 forward. Okay, that is more than likely the command pod. I think I want to go like around in this forest to actually take take this from the angle you're meant to do it in vanilla. So I'm going to be double moving the shiv to here. Just to see, yeah, okay. So that's almost certainly the command pod in there in that little command area. I mean, we do have an opportunity to drop on them from above, but I want to deal with everything else because otherwise they're going to call everything on the map. And I, I'm i not really feeling up to dealing with everything on the map. Like, that's just, that's just my opinion, but I don't feel comfortable with it, so... Okay, let's start moving forward. Um, my god, that music is loud. Let me, uh, let me do something about that. I'm sorry, guys, if that music was, like, absolutely wrecking you. I'm gonna try to, uh... That's still absolutely insanely loud. Here, just for this mission... I think it's the mission with the bugged music. How is that even doing that? I, I'm sorry, you're not gonna hear much of the... You, you're not gonna be hearing much of the... what's going on, because this music is just... super loud. Heading out. Um, there's not much I can do about it, I'm sorry guys. This is a bug about this, uh, this map, I'm pretty sure. can barely hear them talk over this music. Uh, we're gonna move slowly forward like this. Like I said, I wanna I wanna try to start it. I don't really like starting these these missions from the rear. Um, so we're gonna try to to go all around and then do it from the front. Uh, it's just that command pod is a nasty thing to start with. There is some meld. A uh, thin men. All we can hear so far is thin men. Let's use our shiv as our scout. All right, no, we can't. We can't double move because we don't have the motion tracker. Uh, oh my, this is. I hope it's not like so loud for you guys. But you know what's the worst part of this? This is gonna probably be one of the mission that I take the most slowly ever. We might have like two episodes out of this mission. 
and we've got this really nasty music. I'm I'm really sorry, guys. Hopefully, it's not like too too bad, but. Uh, Okay. We want to keep moving forwards. What the hell was that? Okay. You probably didn't hear it through this insanely loud music, but I have heard a sound. That made me make that face. There are cyber disks on this mission. Cyber disk! Yay! Oh, cyber disks! Okay. Well, good thing we brought Perez along. Ah. Okay. That's that's nice. That's that's very nice. Um Cyber Discs. All right. Why not? Why not Cyber Discs? All in ass. That's just that's just great. You know. That, that that's just perfect. Peachy, hunky dory. Um, I'm all out. Oh my god. Okay. Cyber disc. Sorry, I'm I'm still like. That's a door opening really close. I heard a door open, like, right around here. It's probably this door. Although I thought it was already open. So, so far, Thin Men and Cyber Discs. What a awesome combination. You know... Man and cyber oh. oh, this music though. It's so bad. Roger, Dodger. Okay. And this is really, really bad. I I'm sorry this is taking so long. I just didn't like where the game started us. I didn't want to engage, and on a mission that's going to be this hard, I'm going to need to take every advantage I can get, and if that means spending like. 10 turns floaters Quiet. Did you hear something? Can I like I think that doesn't work No That's the weirdest thing about this map The music is like The, the music sound is not affected by the music sound. Sorry, guys. I, we have Thin Men, we have Floaters, we have Cyber Discs. Nothing triggered so far. We had a peep from in there. Uh, we're approaching the front of the ship. So, we got that going for us. Uh, hopefully, I'm pretty sure once the, um, the actual battle music starts, Running. you don't ha it's not this loud. So we just need to start a fight, really, and once we've started a fight, we'll be fine. Okay, cyber discs. Shit. Cyber disc. Now, by now, even if you've never played this game, 
and you've you've only watched me. By now, you you've sort of understand that there are some enemies that scare people in this game. Chrysalid is one. They're horrifying. Cyberdisc is another one, especially this early. Oh my. If I uh, push past this little corner, I'm afraid of what I'll see. I think I'll hold back just a little bit. Okay. Nothing yet. Music is so loud. Okay. I am not comfortable with this. We are really, really far away from extraction point. We're pretty much committed to this at this point. Floaters. Floater is inside. What was that sound? Cyber disc. Okay. I think we're gonna use our motion tracker another time here because we're entering this large area, which is quite large, and we'd like to have a better idea of where to move to uh, set ourselves up properly. Okay! <laughs> Alright, they're right in there. We got two pods right in there. So we'd like to not activate that, if at all possible, this turn. We'd like to set up a little bit of a... Uh, what position would I want to engage them from? I mean, there's some nice full cover here. There's always there's this corner. There's these this corner here. There's some half cover. That's about it. Um, this corner here. All right, let's move the shiv forwards first, just in case. Now we really do not want to trigger them right now. This position is going to be safe. Oh my, alright. Three pods at the same time. we want Sun right here. I think he's going to be able to support from here. Or maybe here? Yeah, I think he's going to be best in position to support from here. Then we'll want to have Perez right here, I think. How far could those rockets go? That's with a half move. I think that's going to be good for those rockets. We're going to steady weapon. Thomas the tank engine we're going to want on the forwards corner. Okay, we're gonna be keeping Sen. It's just there's no cover here. We don't want to go there. We're probably gonna take like these pieces of cover, but we don't want to peek around that corner because we know we want these guys to run into us like one at a time. Oh my God, this is not good. Uh, let's bring Sen up there. Baby J. Right, 
right, we want them to move into us. We want to have a couple of overwatches. Move into us, please. They have not moved into us. Okay. We're going to try to move. We're going to try to bring the shiv around here. And hopefully it's going to trigger the ones that are, like, up there. And not the ones that are right here. So let's try this move. Survey says no. Crap. No, oh, no! Okay. All right. Sen is going to be right there. Sen won't be able to see around this corner over here, which is how I want it to be. Morozova is going to stay here. She's going to be able to go right there if we have to. We can bring Baby J. Oh my god, Baby J would be good there. I'm just a bit scared of... Uh, let's bring Baby J right here. And then next turn we can put Baby J over there. Now we'll bring Perez a bit closer to the action. With a nice, steady rocket. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Okay, they, it looks like they pushed inside the ship further. That sound. Okay. Move the shiv. A little bit forward, just a little tiny bit forward. I don't want to see inside too much. Let's try right here. Oh, we can't see anything. Oh, there was three paws here. Where are they? Oh, okay. Let's keep setting up as if we were gonna, I mean, I'm saying as if. We we want to engage around here. So, let's way. keep setting up for that. Let's keep moving around. I mean, that position would be really good for Sun. On my way. Paris, keep steadying your weapon. And everyone else who can is just overwatch for a little while longer. They might run into us. There we go. Finn men. Come into us. Come into us. Don't go back in there. Please. Uh. Crap. Okay, that's... Can they, like, come from the roof here and be really annoying? Oh, okay. Uh, well, the... I'm not going to mess with the music right now, I know it's, it's going to be super quiet. Uh, just because once the combat stop, you know, everything's going to be annoying otherwise. Okay, he's baiting us. He's like, why don't you, you know, come on in? Why don't you come on in here? Uh, we're not going to take the bait. Uh, I think this corner here is safe with Sen. No, it wasn't safe. Oh. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Great. All right. All right. It's fine. We're completely fine. We just, you know, don't have enough cover for everyone. Should not have done that move. Uh, I didn't know it would it would turn out like that. Okay, we have to let them come into us. This is our only chance: is to force them to engage us on our own terms. There's a crap ton of thin men right now.
I could have used that hit. Ow. Okay, there we go. Baby J Moro's over. Yeah, okay, one down. I think we're seven left. <laughs> that shiv is dodging like a champ. Okay, Perez. Yes. First rocket of the day. Do it, Perez. Now we know there's another pot in there, so we want to be careful. Did I just trigger the other pod with a rocket? I don't know what's happening! Ah! Alright. Thomas, the tank engine, get this guy, please. Okay. Things are bad. Things. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Sen. That's affirmative. 86. 42. Take that 86% right here. I can't believe that rocket missed like that. That was like. Do you have a shot? Do you have a shot on this one or this one? Thinking 57 or do we suppress him? I think 57. Come on, son. Yeah. Okay. Now it's time for our team to shine right here. We have one thin man completely out in the open. We like that. This is where we want to see our thin men. Come on, T101. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's a lot of killing. Now, I can't, I can't move into half cover. It's Overwatch with these guys. These guys are gonna keep coming at us. So Baby J, Overwatch, Morozova, Morozova could move like in here. That's a three pod triggered. I've completely lost track of how many aliens there are though. Or Morozova uh, could move in here. And overwatch from that angle. It's gonna give us some more angle. Uh, engine's gonna keep on overwatch because there's gonna be more floaters coming into us. Uh, the T101's gonna take a beating. I don't really like that. We might lose the T101 this turn, but. Okay, Thin Men. Ow! Yeah. Uh, T101. You did it for the team. This guy's falling back. Did I hear Muton? I think I just heard Mutons. God damn it. <laughs> okay, what have you got a shot on? You got a 42, a 57 with Sun. Um, Sun 81. But this guy's in heavy cover. Let's check the 81. Okay. And then we're gonna combine that with our flush move. I think Sun is just gonna flush this guy out. 72%. Come on, Sun. Yeah. Oh, I love flushing people out. Okay. Ah, ship is destroyed. Sun's still uh, in it. I don't want to move to half cover. There's still floaters and there's still more thin men. We're going to stick to Overwatch for now. And I think next turn we're going to move Thomas Engine where Sen is. And start taking better long range shots at these guys. So we're going to hold our position. We're holding a defensive position. More Overwatching. More Overwatching. And more Overwatching. I 
I think there's floaters left. I think there's at least two thin men left. Like, this guy ran away. Okay, there are mutons. There's a cyber disc. So I think these these the these guys have just all run away, which is kind of annoying. Let's move out, send, and reload. Let's bring Thomas Engine forwards. Because Thomas Engine's got a better long range weapon. There we go. Uh, we can move Perez to here. And then we can move Sun to here. Baby J can stay where he is. We're gonna overwatch with everyone again. Steady the rocket on Paris just in case. Or Shiv, I'm sorry T101, we will rebuild you. You took one for the team though, there was so many thin men. There we go, engine, do it. Yeah, good shot. If this guy stays within range, we might be able to flush him. Baby J? Oh, Baby J, right through the head! Good shot. Okay. Oh, no! Okay, I'm glad I steadied a rocket. I'm really glad I steadied a rocket because this is rocket number two right, right here. Right here, right now. Right on this guy. There we go. Okay, I was I'm really glad I did that. Uh ninety percent, eighty-five percent, sixty-five percent. Alright, let's take the eighty-five. What's what kind of shots does Sun have? Ninety-two, seventy-seven, eighty-seven. Okay. Thomas Engine, you need to kill that muton. Eighty-five, come on. There we go. Okay, good shot. Now, Thomas Engine, can you deal with this floater? 90%? Yeah, Thomas Engine! Choo choo! Thomas Engine is started. Now we got an 87, or if we flush, we have a 100% chance to hit on this Thin Man. There we go. Now, the music went down as if it was over, but I'm not sure it's over. So we're gonna stay back and we're gonna overwatch. I think there's at least a floater left. Yeah. There's like a floater and maybe a thin man left. There you go, Morozova gets a shot. Oh, good shot, Morozova. Oh yeah, this floater has flanked himself. And he's running away. Well, you know what? We're not in any type of hurry. Whatsoever. So, we're not gonna hurry up. We're gonna, like, just get into more advantageous positions. Reload where we can. Overwatch. Morozova's gonna reload, actually. Uh, Paris can overwatch this turn. Oh, engine needs to reload. Ready to engage. Right. Oh no! So inconsistent. That is a cyber disk. Alright, Shredder Rocket, it is not steadied, so it's really inaccurate. We're gonna try to get that Cyber Disc more than anything. Come on, Perez, shred them with the heat. Heat shred. Good. Good start. Sun. What have you got? 57, 87, 87, 87. Sun's also got Shredder Ammo. Oh, nice! Nine damage. 
Alright, well, I guess we won't get to see how horrible cyberdisks are. Uh, which I'm completely fine with, to be honest. There we go. Wasn't that such a bad thing? You have no idea how bad cyberdisks get. Um... 85. We're gonna take an 85 on one of these damn Seekers. Uh, 4 damage critical, but it's not dead. Uh, Morozova. You could kill this Seeker, maybe? That would be nice. There we go. Man, we are... This is a freaking shooting gallery right now. Uh, we can bring Baby J on this corner. Might have a shot. No shot. Okay, Overwatch. Sen's got a shot. Not a really good one. Uh, there's no more Thin Men alive, so we can take a bit of a more risky approach. We can get, like... They can flank us easily here. Where could we move without getting flanked? That would still be in heavy cover. I don't think that's going to be possible. We could run and gun. Or we could move into half cover. Run and gun to half cover? Mm, I'm a bit scared of that floater. Can run and gun to here. Here we won't have a shot. Here we would have a shot. We also have a grenade. I'd like to keep that grenade. 24, 6. Yeah, we need to get closer. Um, do I want to get in, in half cover? You know what? You know what? No. Let's just overwatch. Let's play it safe. Baby J gets a shot. 34%. Okay. Like, these guys can't really... Oh, I guess they can flank Morozova. Or not. Not this one, anyway. What's the Seeker gonna do? Overwatch. Okay. Yeah, oh no, we lost the meld. I am so sad. I am not sad. Alright, 87% with Sun on this. Yeah! Bam! Okay. See you in hell. We can bring back Morozova to here. Uh, get some holo targeting on this guy. Or not. Okay, no holo targeting. That's alright. 66% on Perez. Nice shot, two damage. Uh, engine is flanked. But... 65% twice. There we go, engine. Okay, we know there's at least a floater still lurking around. Understood, sir. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. That was a lot of enemy, like, all at once. Hey, Baby J! Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Baby J can't hear us. Uh, but that's okay, because, the, like, the music is really loud. Okay, so let's reload where we can. And... Overwatch with engine. Overwatch with Sun, Overwatch with Baby J, Overwatch with San. We can send Morozova back into her advanced position here to s spot for that missing floater. Let's just Overwatch. That was a lot that we took care of really quickly. And I think there's only one floater left. I've not, like, properly counted. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, we're headed there now. Let's do this. Understood, sir. I feel, Commander. Overwatch, Overwatch. Let's bring Sen close to, uh, to engine. Huh? Where did you come from, little guy? Hi there! 
Oh, you're out of range. Hi there, little guy. Where did you come from? Well, Thomas Henja does something to say to you. Um, maybe we can get some holo targeting first. If we can bring Morozova to here. There we go. We can have Morozova highlight the problem. Do you have? Oh no, Morozova doesn't have holo targeting. What am I thinking? Fifty-five. You have two shots, engine. Engine hates sectoid. I, where did that sectoid come from? We still have a floater on the loose. And we have one more rocket. We'd probably like to save it for the uh, for the outsiders. Is that my my missing floater? Oh, right, there was a missing... Oh, crap. Baby J, no! There's a Thin Man and a Floater left. Baby J, get out of there! That is a trap! Come back to here, Baby J. Alright. Sen... Keep us safe from close quarters. Morozova, Morozova move to here, maybe? And can reload. Perez can overwatch from this angle. Engine, keep on overwatch. And uh, so do Sun, keep on overwatch. You're gonna move into us. We have a Flother and a Thin Man still active. Yeah, we know, they're right next door. Here's the Floater. Hey there! You're kind of in a bad position. Not for us, for you. Like, we can just say, Hey, son, do you feel like dealing with this floater? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Baby J can reload. Only one shot left in there. Sen can overwatch. Morozova can overwatch. Perez can overwatch. Engine can overwatch. We have a Thin Man left that we are certain of. We don't know beyond that. Ah, oh, this Thin Man is a little shy, huh? Come on! Come on out, little Thin Man. He's going further into the ship. Okay. I mean, I guess we could take a peek on this corner. Nothing. Now, I'm a bit afraid that he's going to come from behind somehow. Which wouldn't surprise me. So we're going to keep Sen to watch this flank. Uh, we could move Sun to here. Actually, I want to move Sun where Morozova is. Let's move Morozova around to here. Let's bring Sun... A little forwards. Very good. And let's bring Perez... Around here, maybe? Okay, let's overwatch as much as we can. Let's wait for this Thin Man to come back into us. Is that? There's still floaters. There's at least a Thin Man. And there's still floaters. Okay. That is good to know. Morozova, uh, start doing a bit of a sweep to the right. Yeah, like that. That's pretty good. Perez, sweeping to the right as well. Okay. Um, let's bring Sun in here. This corner cover, it's half cover, but it's going to give him some great sight lines. Sen, Sen, come close to engine. Uh, Baby J, watch the rear. Understood, sir. Stay on Overwatch. Ooh, looks like we're gonna have a backstory for Baby J's character. That's gonna be cool. Everyone, just stay on Overwatch for now. We know of a Thin Man, and we know of floaters. I don't think we're alone out here. There's the floater. Engine's got a nice shot. Oh, barely misses it. Okay. 
he's right in here. Where's that thin man? Here's that thin man. Oh yeah, okay. The thin man is a higher priority than the floater. Uh, we don't have much fire on him though. Sadly. We got a couple of shots from Thomas Engine, which we're gonna take. Thomas Engine, a miss. And. Oh, one good hit. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a shot here. He's just outside of the range of this um, machine gun. But we're gonna overwatch with Sun. Baby J, Baby J, Baby. Uh, come on, this corner. Try to overwatch. Sen. We can overwatch in case someone gets really close. Uh, we can move Morozova out here into full cover and overwatch. And uh, we can keep Perez into half cover over here and overwatch. Like, if he comes towards us. Okay, this floater is running away. What's the thin man going to do? Running away. Oh. On the roof. That's not nice. Thin man on the roof. That is really not nice. Okay. We're going to overwatch. We let them come to us. This is a very defensive posture we got. And we're going to keep it that way. Okay, the floater. Engine, can you get rid of that floater for us? Yeah, there we go. Alright, we only got a thin man left, still on the roof. Use some ammo over here. Nothing. Let's keep overwatching. Engine's gonna reload. Overwatch, overwatch, overwatch. This thin man's gonna walk into us, and he's gonna take a face full of laser. Yeah, he's on the roof, alright. I don't like this, because he could drop in a perfect flanking position. Oh my god, where is that thin man? Baby J actually go here instead. Oh, that's, that's nice, Baby J. All right, so Baby J was just walking on the street, you know, just minding his own business, and then the aliens came in like a terror attack and fucked like the whole city up. Everything was broken, people were dying all around, and Baby J was like, no, what's going on? And the XCOM walked in, and Baby J looked at XCOM and was like, wow, these are people who make can make a difference, but Baby J didn't like all that death, so he's decided that he wanted to help people, and he wanted to heal people, and keep them alive. And so that's why Baby J became a medic. So that's the backstory of Baby J. Where is that Thin Man? Come here, Thin Man! Oh, I'm sending Baby J after you. <laughs> Come on, Thin Man, you were on the roof. No, he came back down. Oh, okay, engine 69. Oh, on a 69? 69 should be like a guaranteed hit. No, this guy is dead. We're killing him this turn. Alright. Morozova? 80%. Kill that thin man. Thank you. Hurrah! Hurrah! Says Morozova. And I agree with her. Holy crap! Okay, I think we only have the command pod left because that was a lot even for a freaking large We're gonna keep our ears open. We're gonna start making our way towards the uh, The command pod Whew. Okay, let's reload make sure everyone's reloaded Everyone's doing fine And, uh, yeah. Affirmativo. All right, engine. Engine was like, oh my god, that corner? 
Engine owned that corner. Let's listen. It's hard with the music, but... Okay. Nothing. Okay. Morozova. Zadjeva. Um, Paris can overwatch. Thomas Engine. Let's bring you, like, forward a lot. I'm pretty sure, like... I could be wrong, and there could be more, but... The amount of stuff we've killed here... And, except for the T-101, which is... Kinda sad. Hey there, Space Cat 2244! How are you doing? You join us on the Landed Large UFO, which in... Last time we went on the Landed Large UFO, uh, we lost like five people. So... But this time... That was not a sound. Yeah, I think it's only the command, but this time we just wrecked the alien's stuff. Woohoo! Okay. We're gonna make we're gonna get so much stuff from this. As long as we can deal with the command the the outsider pod, cause we're not out of the woods. That outsider pod is not easy to deal with at all. It's <laughs> this is not over. This can still go quite wrong. I, I would rather it doesn't, but it still can. Alright, um... We're gonna keep pushing. Uh, we've been doing this for quite some time now, and I'd like to, uh... You know, not, not remain in here for too, too long. The faster we can get back to base. Okay. Let's keep listening, just in case. Okay. Uh, Space Cat, you want to know how many kills we got on this mission? Oh my god, okay. There was like the Muton with three floaters. There was a uh, Sectoid. There was a Cyber Disk. There was like eight Thin Men. There was a pod of like four floaters. There was the two Seekers. And there was a drone. That's. <laughs> I, think, I think that's about what we've killed so far. <laughs> You know, one or two aliens. Out. We still got the outsiders, and I think there's four of them? I'm not sure how many outsiders we're gonna have to kill. Let's go, Baby J. Oh, that's the outsiders. They are not where I expect them to be. Oh, no. I expected them to be way further. Oh no! <laughs> crap. How do I want to fight this? Okay. Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Uh, I, mean, I still get about, uh, what, 15, 20, 15 minutes, maybe, Jay? So I don't know, you probably, you can't hear that, but it's still a while. But if you if you can come see us later, that's all right. Okay. Uh, that's bad news. That's bad news. <laughs> um, that's real bad news. Okay. We're gonna move back with Baby J for sure. Now nah, we need to, we need oh. I mean one thing we could do is just fall back to here. There's no guarantee that they won't come from the sides though. I just there's no heavy cover to deal with these guys. We can deal from the to, with them from like those the sides maybe and those sides This is not good. This is not a good position to be in. Okay, 
can put engine <sighs> and sun. Try to lure him into to coming over here, but they might as. Oh, I know not to use explosive if uh, if we need to, Space Cat, but on this mission I'm going to use explosives because this is not an easy mission. Like, not using explosive and getting the body back is the best, but getting my people back home safe is even better than that. And most of these guys we killed without explosive, except for that one rocket that went, like, completely wrong and somehow ended up killing a bunch of people. Um, oh, crap. Okay, uh, let's bring engine to, like, here. Okay. This is a tough situation. And we have no clue what they're doing. Which is... You know, worser if that's... If there's such... Oh, really? You think they're in there? How nice of you to let us know that. Let's take a peek from here. Okay, we got a flanking shot. Can you fire a shredder rocket in there? No, you cannot. Now, the problem is that there's one of them that's up there. They're gonna move because they're flanked right now. There's not much point in shooting them because they're just gonna... Do you wanna use the battle scanner to know exactly what's going on in there? I mean, we can get another shot with Baby J as well on the outside here. We can get two flanking shots on this guy. And we do have a height advantage. I'm scared that this one will come here and flank us. He's around here. I don't think he can... I don't want to get Baby J killed. But I don't think Baby J is going to have a shot from here. <laughs> We're gonna try to keep you alive, Baby J. We're gonna do our damnedest to keep you alive. We also have command here. That shredder rocket is too inaccurate. Alright. Morozova, start us off. 80%. Crap! Uh, Baby J. Oh, that's a nice shot. Sen doesn't have the best of shots. Perez, 57. We could command uh, Morozova to take another shot at 80%. I think that's what we're going to do here. What are we going to do with engine and... I mean, I'd love to bring engine here, but that's half cover. That's just asking for trouble. None of them are on Overwatch. That was that was strange that none of them went on Overwatch. Uh, we're gonna bring Engine right here. Get him into position for the the, the next turn. <sighs> Sun is uh, a bit useless right now. Let's bring Sun closer so he can be useful the next few turns. 
All right, we're gonna command Baby J. Yeah. Grant a yellow move to an some soldier in sight range. Cannot you be used on soldiers on Overwatch who have set their weapon, who have anchored down, or used one for all. Does not allow user multi-action perks like close encounter or hit and run. Four turn cooldown. Oh, four turn cooldown. That's not bad. Okay. Okay, Morozova. 80%. Please finish this guy. Yes, okay. One less. We still have three outsiders to deal with. We have an AP. We have some flashbangs, but they're not close by together. So we're going to just overwatch here. Oh my. They have jumpy legs. Okay, he's suppressed. Oh, and baby J's suppressed. Okay. We can flank this guy. Definitely. With Morozova. And Morozova can outrun that, that Overwatch. What do we do then? Doesn't... Does... Engine... Engine's got two 55s. We could fire Shredder and shred both these guys, which would end their suppression. If we can hit both of them. I think we can only hit one of them with the Shredder. Can we hit these two? Stupid camera. I wanna see, could I hit these two guys? I don't think so. I could hit this one, that would end the suppression on Baby J. And we could use Baby J this turn. What else can you do? You have a 57% shot on this guy, which could also end the suppression, but it's a bit less useful. Let's take the two shots we got with Thomas Engine. Or we can move Thomas Engine into heavier cover. Sun can flashbang this guy, I think. Yeah. Okay. Sun flashbang this guy. Also flashbang this guy. But if we flashbang this guy, he's less likely to hit us next turn. There we go. He's disoriented. He can't overwatch anymore. So first things first, Engine has 255s. Let's take him. One miss. Come on, Engine. Come on, Engine. Two miss. That's not good. But we can set up some flanking on this guy. Let's bring Morozova to here. We have a nice flank, 80%. Morozova! And we can bring Perez. Perez got an 88, but this guy's gonna heal like three hit points. He's gonna move. We could overwatch, but we're more likely to hit him with the 88 than on the overwatch. Now, uh, five. Um. Baby J and. Santa, I'm just gonna overwatch here. They're in heavy cover. Ooh, baby J dodged. Good, good dodge, baby J. You're gonna move. Where are you? Where are you gonna move to? No, you're just gonna take a shot at us. Okay, I like that. This guy's gonna overwatch. He's regenerating three health. All right, Perez with the 88. Okay, six damage. Morozova. Morozov is out of ammo. Okay, engine. Do it, engine. 65. Okay, one miss. Come on, engine. Come on, engine. Do it! Oh my god! Okay, that's not good. 
Okay, um, Baby J. Baby J's got a 49. Can you do it, Baby J? Can you seal the deal? Baby J seals the deal. Okay. We have two left. One of them's on Overwatch. We don't really want to move. One of them's right down there. Let's just Overwatch with Sen. Morozova. Morozova can go over here and reload. I don't think Morozova's going to be shot at, but Morozova. Oh, uh, well, lightning reflexes. Okay, good. Good thing, good thing. You can reload here. And that does mean, now that that Overwatch is gone, we can move Sun a little bit forward. Hopefully, in like three turns, Sun's gonna be useful. No! Oh, Baby J! It's alright. Baby J's fine. Oh, Sen took a hit, but Sen's, a, Sen's an assault. Assaults are used to take hit like that. Okay. Now, we can start doing some fancy stuff with Baby J. Like, flanking this guy. That would be nice. What could Sen do for us? Sen could run and gun. To, like, a position where this guy can't see, maybe? We could have... Morozova and Baby J flank. We could like run and gun to here and shotgun this guy in the face, but if this guy moves, we're in trouble. We can move engine to like one of these position and overwatch to keep this guy a bit more pinned. We could also move, we can actually move Sun to like here. No one's on overwatch. Let's move Sun to here. Where he's gonna be useful next turn. Is he? Yes. Baby J, start to set up the flank. There we go. First shot, Baby J, 79. Baby J, my god! All the misses. Uh, we can bring Moros over to here. Now they're both flanked. 100% on this one or 89 on this one. Let's take the 100. Alright, 5 damage. That's pretty good actually. Perez... Did Perez have a shot on him from here? I don't think Perez had a shot. Uh, maybe from here? We could flank this guy? That would be nice. We have a 57 here. We have a rocket. Uh, maybe we... Overwatch with Perez. Sen. Sen's gonna move here. And Overwatch. While Thomas Engine moves right here. Thomas Engine's gonna reload. Sen's gonna overwatch. What are these guys gonna do? Okay, he's running. Whoa! Okay. He's gonna run. He gets a shot from Perez. Good shot, Perez. Where is he running to, though? It's important we know. He's running behind here. Okay, that's not the best. Wait, what? Is he, like, on the roof or something? Perez is out of ammo. Okay, Sen, what can you do for us? Sen could run and gun to here. I could probably end this guy in one shot. Probably. What's our fallback? Sen's got a 57 and a flush. Okay. Run and gun. Sen's been itching this whole time. I mean, like, I want to run and gun. I just want to run and gun. Just let me run and gun. I'm going to run and gun. <laughs> We're like, okay, you can run and gun now, Sen. He's like, run and gun! There we go. 100%. Blast. 
Blam in the face. Seven damage critical. One hit point left, but that's where we bring Sun, which is Clutch Flush. Clutch, clutch Flush. There we go. And, oh. Wait. People got, like, extra shots on that for some reason. Okay, now this guy ran here, and I think he's on the roof. I think he's on the roof, and I'm freaking scared. So Perez, fall back a little bit, and reload. Engine, if he's on the roof, oh my, if he's on the roof, we're in so much trouble. Engine, fall back in Overwatch. Baby J needs to reload. Oh my god. Okay. Baby J can... If he goes here, we're, we're flanked. Baby J can move on this corner. And reload. Morosova can move on this corner. And overwatch. Where is he? He's on the roof, isn't he? He's totally on the roof. That asshole is on the roof. You get like a... Okay, Morozova. Move to here. And throw that battle scanner up on the roof. If he's on the roof, I want to know exactly where he is. He might be inside here, but... He's on the roof. Okay. Could we potentially rocket him from here? No, we couldn't. So let's steady our weapon with Perez. Okay, we know where he is on the roof at least. Thomas engine. It's a bit annoying because we just we can't go on the roof like that. Let's stay here in Overwatch. Overwatch from Sun. Baby J. Because he can just drop behind us and flank us. That's why roofs are so powerful. He's the last one on this map. I mean, we can. But dealing with him would be so hard after that. But then he's less likely to hit us. But he can't move as much as well. I think we're going to do it. We're going to flashbang him. And I mean, this is where we'd want to be if we want to try to actually take him out of there. Ah. What's he going to do? Come back down, buddy. Come back down. Oh, you can't just stay up there. Oh, we can see him. Huh. Okay. We can see him here with Perez. Can Morozova see him? No. I mean, we can take a shot or we can fire a rocket at him. I think we'll just fire a shot. There we go. Four damage. Nice shot, Perez, actually. Um... That, sir. We're gonna get in position. I don't think that guy is gonna be nice to me. So we're gonna we're gonna go. Time to motor. We're gonna go and get ready to actually assault him. Morozov is gonna stay on Overwatch, just in case he tries something funny. 
so will Thomas Engine. Let's keep, you know. And we'll, so will Sun. Alright, he's gonna jump down. Oh my god. He's coming straight for Oh, good shot, Morozova. But he's coming straight for us. Wait, he's down there? I mean, it's a definite possibility. You can bring Morozova down right here. Might be able to see him. Wait, can we like tile scan? Okay, he's in the corner there. He might get an overwatch, but this is Morozova. She's got lightning reflex. He is on overwatch. Oh, but we don't see him. We can, however, flashbang him. He's disoriented. <sighs> I'm thinking rocket. Rocket, anyone? Let's shred him. Put him in a bad position. He might kill him. Is he dead? Excellent work. All objectives complete. <laughs> Here's my crimson chant. Oh my god, we did it! <sighs> we okay. The T101 took one for the team, but holy crap, we did it. We did it. Oh my god, I am so happy right now. It's been well over an hour. Well, well, a bit over an hour. So, uh, I'm gonna stop here, and next time we're gonna be giving out promotions. <sighs> oh my god! We did it, guys. We did it. Let's look at that, at that bounty. One sectoid, five floaters, seven thin men, a muton, a cyber disc, a drone, 72 Illyrium, 81 alien alloys, 22 weapons fragment, 4 meld, 4 UFO flight computers, 2 alien surgery, 2 UFO power source, 2 seeker wrecks. It's in a pocket. Woo Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to be part of the team, uh, you want a soldier named after you, or you have a cool idea for a name, send me a message or leave a comment. Uh, uh, if you want to see more, consider subscribing or uh, leaving a like or leaving a comment. That's always very appreciated. You can see more of my stuff on YouTube, or if you want to see it live, you can come see it on Twitch. And uh, yeah, so until next time, bye bye. Wow!